everybody, welcome back to this month's OCD Gaming News and Girl. There was a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. First things first, we have to give a special shout out to my beloved Patreons at the infected level. Thank you for all your love and support on Patreon. It means the world to me. This is a special perk you get. Come on, join us on Patreon. We have a lot of fun over there. We'll be starting a new game plus for The Last of Us Part 2. If you want to join us there on Fridays, there's an extra video every week. You don't want to miss it because it's going to be everything. The shenanigans. Get into it. Come join us on Patreon. Special shout out to my infected. D Cells, Sven Jacobs, Dave934, Dante Sellers, Frantic Fish, Dark Wolf92, Daniel Kelly, Cody Neff Rogers, and Dr. Hypnus. You guys are the best. Thanks for showing my channel and me so much love and supporting me on Patreon. It means the world to me. Thanks so much, guys. Now back to the news. It's time for the game is court. <laughs> Well, 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 here is another month has gone by and another month we are bringing you sexual harassment in the gaming industry. Guys, I am so tired of reporting this news. Every month you all better get it together. I am tired of bringing you all to my courtroom. This has got to stop. This month, the case on the docket goes to Ubisoft pitch. Oh my God. Allegedly. This is all alleged, but a lot of people have stepped down. And a lot of people have left the building <laughs> officially. Jason Schreier has been reporting on this and the tea is scalding hot, bitch. The accusations at Ubisoft range from subtle forms of sexism to outright sexual assault. Allegedly. Jason Schreier has reported that many employees detailed an atmosphere of hostility towards women, often describing the Paris headquarters as a frat house. Staff often made misogynistic and racist comments. The senior executives took part and escalated this misconduct in the form of inappropriate touching or other sexual advances. Last month in July, it was reported that three executives um, had stepped down. Serge Hasquet, Yanis Malat, and Cecile Cornette would no longer be filling those roles. Okay, so this is a problem. This is a systemic problem in many businesses, in many industries. But we're just here to talk about the gaming shenanigans and this is unacceptable. I sentence you all to solitary confinement where you can't hurt nobody anymore. You all need to stop this toxic behavior and you need to treat women and men with respect and stop with this frat house shenanigans and bullshit because it is officially over. I've had it. I've heard so many horror stories in the last few months. We know what goes on. We know it's happening, but y'all are being held to the fire and I live for it now. Get out of my courtroom. Next case. Now, you know I love when the gaming industry comes together to show love to their fellow game dev companies. So as usual, Sony Santa Monica, Ben Studio, and Naughty Dogs were one of the first ones to congratulate Ghosts of Tsushima with their release of the game this month. It is everything I'm playing it on my channel right now. I'm living for it. I love it. I am absolutely loving it. And they show their love for each other. Shout out to the Sony PlayStation family. Always oh, sticking together and holding it down. Shout out for showing each other so much love. Metacritic has put their foot down on personal reviews of games. Metacritic now delays their user reviews for over 24 hours due to the backlash a lot of games were getting, like uh, IE The Last of Us Part Two was getting review bombed before in the first day before anyone had a chance to even play through the game. There's no way you play through the entire game and to give you a review on it. Even like a day, not even 24 hours, it was getting review bombed. It was ridiculous. I mean, because some people are using this as a form of protest. It ain't right. Like play the game if you hate it and you want to review bomb it, you know, review it. Give it a bad review when you're done playing it. Be truthful at least. Come on now. Sometimes even before the game comes out, like how are you going to do that? That is so shady. I'm glad they're putting their foot down. Now, Ghost of Tsushima was the biggest selling game in the first two weeks of its release on the UK charts. Four times bigger than Paper Mario, The Origami King. Now, you know I love a good Easter egg. And in Ghost of Tsushima, it has been found that there are plenty of PlayStation family Easter eggs 
in a certain spot in the game. No spoilers, there's no spoilers. But uh, there is a special origami uh, of The Last of Us. God of War, Shadow of the Colossus, Ratchet and Clank, Dreams, and more. I live for Easter eggs and finding them out. And that's such a sweet nod to the rest of the PlayStation family. Uh, if you found it, let me know in the comments. Yes! No, it's not this month's Yes or Mess yet. But the actor who plays Jin Sakai in Ghost of Tsushima, Tasuke Tsuji, please forgive me if I'm not saying that right. I know I am not saying that right. There is no way I'm saying that correctly. Please forgive me. Is also the character's model. And he has been streaming on Twitch uh, his playthrough of the game. And when he first got to the calming meditative waters to take the bath, which we all know we can do and it replenishes our health in the game. The first time he saw his naked tushy in the game, he literally lost it. <laughs> it was classic. His reaction was everything. He gave a shout out. Yes. <laughs> like why he said, why am I cheering for my own ass? <laughs> but it was everything. It was everything. I highly recommend watching his stream. Well, look who's back. Back, back, back again. Back again for more shenanigans. <laughs> Philip Mewson, bitch. He is the cockroach that keeps coming back that we cannot get rid of. He has tried to make a comeback again. Not only did he try to make a comeback after his... After being caught for many times plagiarizing his reviews, his write-ups online on video and in print many times he has been caught red-handed red penned outwardly copying and plagiarizing his work from someone else without giving credit and now he wants a third fourth fifth sixth twelfth chance um and i say no <laughs> only because not only has he did he double down the first time he was caught he doubled down and then he begs for people to find more dirt on him. You're not going to find it. And bitch, they found it. They found out everything he had copied, stolen from other people and, and tried to pass it off as his own. Honestly, it's, a, it's less work to just do it yourself. Honestly, not only did he double down on being nasty about it the first time around, now that he's back. Uh, some people reached out to him privately to to try and tell him like, you know, maybe this isn't for you. Like this is like might be just too toxic and, you know, like I wish you well and whatever. And he he got all up in his feelings when he got called out. So he was arrogant, so arrogant to say and get nasty about it, which just shows that he has learned nothing. He has learned no humility. He ain't even sorry. He's going to, he's just going to double down with the attitude. Like I would be the most humble, most like obligate, like the most obliging person I could be to prove that I really have turned over a new leaf and I need to do things the right way. But bitch, he was just doing the same old shit all over again with his attitude was not the tea. So I'm not saying I believe in cancel culture, but this is just... This is what this is. You get what you get. <laughs> you know, these are the consequences of your actions and you're going to have to deal with them and move on to something new because no one's going to believe a word you say or trust a word you write. And that's that. More Ghost of Tsushima news. It is now PS4's fastest selling first party original IP. Within the first few days, the first three days of its debut, 2.4 million units sold. Congratulations to everyone at Sucker Punch Productions. Congratulations to everyone involved in the making of this game. It's such a stunning, gorgeous game. I absolutely freaking love it. I'm living for it. I, I, I love being immersed in that world and that game. It is so badass and beautiful and I live, bitch. Now we know we would all, we're all waiting for Kojima's next project announcement. What's it going to be? Whatever, whatever nightmare fuel he's thinking up of the next game he's going to bring to us. We know there have been whispers on the interwebs about him doing a horror game. And I, for one, would love to play a horror game by Kojima. Um, and things have been started and scrapped and, and he looked like he might be going back to Death Stranding. Little clues here and there. Personally, I hope to see a horror game 
from Kojima because I think it's going to be absolutely bad shit, fever dream crazy, and I am here for it and I'm already living for it. So Kojima supposedly reached out to Master Horror Manga creator Junji Ito and said he has been contacted by Kojima for working on a horror game, but nothing has come of it yet. It's just a horror based game he may be doing. So we'll see, but I am here for it. I am ready for the horror and the shenanigans. Cyberpunk 2077, we know it's been delayed. Um, I'm excited to to play it. They Just the other day, they came out with a whole Night City Part 2 of the different groups and clans and things they have going on for it. I haven't really delved too deeply into it yet. Um, I'm kind of trying to stay away from it until um, we get closer to the, the game's release. But the bad news is that there was a beta scam going on for the game. Uh, so if you have gotten any emails or any uh, contacted by anyone about the cyberpunk 2077 a beta scam, please do not respond. It is a scam the house. Now I know on the game is quote we spoke about the uh, the shakedown at Ubisoft and another one has bit the dust. Tommy Francois has left the company and left the building. He was the VP of editorial and creative services and was on administrative leave pending the results of the investigation. But he left with immediate effect. Other investigations are still going on. We might see more heads on the chopping block as this story develops. Sony's first quarter, April to June 2020, has been PlayStation's best ever in terms of revenue 5.6 billion B during the quarter and has shipped 1.9 million units, bringing the total lifetime shipments to 112.3 million, bitch. Also, software sales were the highest ever for PlayStation at 91 million units. So congratulations to PlayStation. They all getting that money, bitch. <laughs> They're getting that money, bitch. <laughs> Now, you know, I love Detroit Become Human is one of my favorite playthroughs on the channel. I was always, I was looking forward to playing that so much and I loved the game. And they finally have reached 5 million units sold. Congratulations to Detroit Become Human. I am still hoping for a DLC or a sequel with different characters, anything. I live for that game and I want to see more. So our beloved Guerrilla Games has some new digs and they absolutely deserve it. They have been working on a long time in the construction of their new offices. Kojima even visited them back in the day when he was still working on Death Stranding on the early days when he was working on Death Stranding. Um, and they raised the flag in very dramatic fashion. And I live for that kind of drama. So congratulations to Guerrilla Games and everyone uh, working on Horizon Zero. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel. We can't wait to see and play as Aloy once again. Now, we know that The Last of Us Part Two uh, is getting a grounded mode and a permadeath mode. Oh, Lord, help us all. <laughs> you know I'm going to be playing that. Uh, but they were kind of, it was kind of leaked that the multiplayer... Uh, which has been alluded to that was coming um, leaked not officially I'm not sure if this is the real tea or if this is just unsubstantiated tea but it is it is tea nonetheless it has been leaked that it's multiplayer for the last of us part two but that is alleged i don't know if that is real i'm just passing the news you can judge for yourself so the long-awaited rumored game that rocksteady has been working on a superman game has been unofficially confirmed, <laughs> has been officially teased, I should say. Um, uh, on August 22nd, we should be getting all the real tea, the real trailer coming out. But they, this is the picture of Target on Superman by the Suicide Squad. So what this game is going to entail uh, explicitly, we do not know yet. We will learn more on August 22nd, and I will bring you all that news when that drops. I'm excited to play it um, and to see what they're going to bring. Hopefully, we will have the Superman game of our dreams that we have always wanted. But in the meantime, we have to wait. But I don't know about you, but I was like a little disappointed in this like teaser. It was like just a tweet. Like, I think like a dramatic still of just like, you know, uh, would have been uh, like a video of something like a quick, like even a 30 second tease would have been better than this just random tweet, but that's just me. What do you think? It was a little disappointing, a little anticlimactic for me because I was really excited. And then I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> just like, but whatever. 
I'm glad it's here. I'm not going to bitch about it. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you excited to play this game? I know I am. So there are new, some new Funkin' Pops coming our way. Joel, Ellie, and Sam from Death Stranding are finally coming out with their own Funko Pops. And I'm really excited. I have a few. I don't know. You can't even see them. They're buried behind there. But um, I have Nathan Drake. I have Aloy uh, and a bunch of others back there. And I'm very excited to get my Joel and Ellie. Uh, what about you? Are you guys going to be purchasing these? They're going to be available at GameStop. And I'm excited that they're releasing them. Now, you know, I support all the games <laughs> and all the game consoles on this channel. I'm just a PlayStation girl, so uh, I mostly focus on PlayStation stuff. But Xbox Series X launches officially in November, which I'm sure all the Xbox fans are excited for. And in November is was supposed to be one of the release games, games to be released uh, when the console dropped was going to be Halo it is not it has been delayed to 2021 r.i.p halo i have never played halo i am not yeah that's not my tea but i am so sorry for all y'all who love that game and are, we're looking forward to playing it on release when um when the new xbox drops and sorry about it it's going to be delayed till 2021 so now we're just waiting on sony to see when they're going to be dropping the new PlayStation 5. It stated that they will also be releasing with thousands of games of the generation. Obviously, everything's backwards compatible. They had said this for a while now. Halo Infinite, sorry about it. It's delayed till 2021, which is not surprising. I am not surprised by any games. Honestly, I'm not surprised by any game delays anymore. I just feel like it's part of the industry. It's just going to happen no matter what. I'm not bothered by it. Give me the games when they're ready. I just hope that they are not putting too much pressure on the team to keep working the asses off to get it done. I want everybody to have good work-life balance. It ain't worth it. So um, I hope you guys get your life when that game comes out. Now, you know, The Last of Us Part Two just came out in June. And we know that once the game had come out that Naughty Dog's director, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin are going to be working on The Last of Us show, HBO show. Now, there, since the beginning, Neil Druckmann had said there was a jaw-dropping moment that he that was cut from the game. I can't imagine what other jaw-dropping moment they did not include in the first or second one. But, bitch, they said there's a jaw-dropping moment, and we ain't ready for it, and it's coming to the HBO show. They're creating new things. There's going to be new. There's going to be more in detail into the characters with Joel and Ellie, which I'm so happy about. No news on who's playing who. I don't know how they're going to do that, how we're going to how we're going to pick a Joel or an Ellie, because honestly, when I see them, all I hear is Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. But uh, I'm ex so excited for this HBO show. Don't nobody call me when that show is on. Don't nobody text me. Don't nobody tweet me. I'll be doing reviews every week. I know on Westworld when uh, the first two seasons I did reviews every week. That was a lot of work, guys. It was a lot of work. And I got into a lot of trouble even for just showing stills of the, the, the pictures of the characters. So I'm going to have to be real careful. Uh, but I'm planning on doing reviews. I mean, it's very early still. But when it comes out, keep an eye out. I'll be doing reviews every week on each episode. So keep an eye out for that. I'm so hyped for it. Are you guys excited? Will you watch it? Uh, do you think it'll hold up to the game? Uh, or will it just enhance it even more? I'm very excited. Okay, so here are the video game release dates of the new games coming up. Um, for me, the only game in my heart <laughs> is going to be Ghosts of Tsushima. I love that freaking game, guys. Um, I am just barely scratched the surface of it. I am taking my time. I am just reveling in every beautiful, gorgeous, stunning moment of it. I am absolutely living for it. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch my Let's Play, please check it out if you can. I really appreciate it so much. And um, But once I finish that, uh, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to play. I am going to be playing finishing up Mafia 2. I don't know how far along I am in that. I know I started playing it before The Last of Us Part 2 came out. I will be revisiting that and playing other games in between. So we'll have like two separate series to watch once Ghost is done. But Ghost is taking priority. My man, my main man, Jin, is everything. And I'm living for that game. Uh, I love it. Even though I'm terrible at it. 
I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I live, bitch. I'm getting living my best samurai life playing that game. <laughs> After that, what are you guys looking forward to playing coming up in the next few months? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and Little Nightmares. They've been teased. They've been teasing that game for months. And so when that drops, I'm playing that as well. So let me know what you guys are looking forward to playing. What are you playing now? Let me know in the comments. And now for this month's artwork. Work. Here is Kev the Cap, Viking Dad 278. The king of all days gone. He is here and he shared this gorgeous, um, stunning VP shot of Deacon and Days Gone. You know, I fucking live for Days Gone, guys. I have been playing uh, Days Gone Road to Platinum. I finally platinum the game and I just 100 percented uh, all the story, all the storylines on my Patreon on Fridays. There's a separate uh, stream that I, uh, an extra video you get every month if you subscribe to me on Patreon. If you join me there on Patreon, it's everything. If you can, join us there on Patreon. At the Firefly level and above, you get an extra video every week from me. And that's it for the beautiful artwork this month. Thank you, Kev, for your beautiful art and for your Days Gone love here. We appreciate it so much. Give him a follow and tell him I sent you. That's VikingDad278 on Twitter and on Instagram check them out and now it's time for the yes yes bitch and the mess the yes this month I don't think anyone has to has to guess what it is for me this month was the last of us part two guys that was one of the most successful less oh my god bug ew the last of us part two has been one of the most successful um let's plays on my channel I don't know how I got so lucky for you guys to really be uh, in and watching my Let's Play. I appreciate it so much, guys. Um, I, I finally, finally surpassed 10,000 subscribers. I'm at like 11,000 subscribers now. And um, I appreciate it so, so much, you guys. Um, it means the world to me. That's why I started this channel, because I wanted to share all my love and all my feelings and emotions for the first game. And to have my channel pass 10,000 to reach 10,000 subscribers playing the game that is the reason why I wanted to start this channel in the first place was everything and you guys came along on that journey with me and it was so emotional and so every I, I like the the laughters and tears <laughs> the laughter and tears on that video on that let's play is just too much it was one of my all-time favorite games now you know I, I I say I love a lot of games but there's a lot of games I don't bitch but you don't hear me talk about them so you know when I really go crazy talking about these games you know I really truly love them and your response and the comments have been so amazing and the support on that and um my new patreons i just really appreciate all my new subscribers and everyone who's come along that journey with me i appreciate you guys so so much so thanks for all the love and i i will probably be doing a review um i've just been so busy lately so i'm trying to like get a review i i feel like i need to play it one more time to really get the zhuzh of everything all the things i missed i know there was a lot of parallels that i really want to delve deep so it might be a little later because these take a lot of work. So it takes a lot of time to do these. So I'm going to really try my best to get like a really good review out for you guys. But I live for the game and I loved it. And I think it was a very brave story for them to tell. Do I think it was perfect? No, believe it or not. <laughs> um, they're both amazing games. Part one and part two. Uh, part one will always have my heart the most. I'm sorry, uh, but I love them both. But um, I know it was very divisive, but I just go, what's in my heart, guys? I can't help it. I loved it. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Um, the comments section on my videos have been so positive. Even if people didn't like it, they were really respectful. So shout out to all my my beautiful subscribers who, even if they didn't love it, they left like nice comments. I really appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the love and support, guys. Really, honestly. Another yes for the month was I finally platinum days gone. Better late than never. I was doing this was my streams on Patreon on Fridays was my road to platinum series. So I finally got the platinum. And um, shout out to all the people at Ben Studio who like um, when I tweeted it and you know the and the screenshot of the of the one percenter trophy like Eric Jensen and John Garvin and Philip Wilson and everyone who showed me love from Bend uh, Studio. I was there from the beginning of when the very first trailer and they've been so supportive of me and they're like the nicest people on the planet. So show them some love. And that was so, so sweet of them to, to like even care that I got the, 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 the platinum trophy on it. They're just really 
the nicest and the sweetest and i appreciate it so much that that is i take nothing for granted on this channel absolutely nothing and i'm so appreciative of all the love and that kindness that is shown to me i appreciate it with all my little black heart bitch when i said mongrels for life i wasn't kidding i love that game and i'll be doing a new game plus on days gone once we're finished with the last of us part two new game, new game plus because that kind of takes priority <laughs> now the mess for this month bitch philip mucin you know i'm coming for your throat for his arrogance and his entitlement to feel he's entitled to uh infinite chances for being a plagiarist like and for being a doubling down and being so rotten about it he no, like no hates him i don't want anyone sending him hate i don't want any i you know this is a place of positivity and i do not support any kind of hatred or hate towards anybody we throw shade we do not throw hate around here shade is very different um but the realty is he just came off as very entitled and very ar arrogant and um we are not here for it uh if you need to to come back no problem with people who make mistakes and try and they do their best bitch to do their best to come back and uh feel grateful that they're even giving a chance and he did not do that he was giving off very bratty very entitled very uh i deserve a millionth chance and i am not here for it you make up your own mind that is just my opinion on how i feel about it but i think his mess for trying that and trying us to make us accept him and trust him now if he comes back like i don't begrudge anyone coming back and doing trying to get their bag but do it the right way it is a lot easier to do the work yourself than to jump through hoops and trying to cover up your tracks from cheating and stealing someone else's work do your own work bitch work bitch <laughs> do your own work bitch <laughs> i mean the audacity and the fuckery to double down on the arrogance was just too much for me to bear and you are my mess for the month who bitch <laughs> anyway guys that is it for this month's ocd gaming news thank you so much for all your love and support on the channel thank you for all my new subscribers on the channel and a bunch of my new patreons you guys are so awesome i appreciate each and every one of you guys if you can please Join us on Patreon if you like this video on this channel and these motherfucking shenanigans. Please give me a like, subscribe, share these videos, join me on Patreon, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, OC Deirdre. For all the tea and all the shenanigans, you know I'm always on there. I try to be on there as much as I can to catch all, all the news and all the shenanigans and all the shade, bitch. But anyway, thanks so much for all the love, especially this month, you guys. It means so much to me and I appreciate all of you so, so much. So thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Cookie, come here. Bop, bop. It gives me, oh my God, I will never say that right. <laughs>